Hi, it's Stephanie again. And I realized that I've been doing this art challenge over on Instagram and I haven't told anybody, like it's super secret or something. So I thought today, because I'm actually ahead by one day, that I would uh, record my prompt um, for tomorrow. <laughs> so that means I have to like edit it and put it out there before tomorrow. And so the prompt is for day 14 and it's tree and, or trees, is it plural? I don't know, I don't think it matters. So, and I'll explain why. I did this, it's the tree, I don't know if it'll focus on the actual thing. Here we go, let me see. Okay, so the tree, and trying to do this thing like it's, like a super wide shot. It was a really cool reference image. And prompts are so great. And let's let's just get into it. And we're going to talk about that right now. Okay. Bye. So, as I said, the prompt is trees. And when do you take a prompt? You, you don't want to just say, okay, clouds, and draw, you know, little cotton ball looking clouds, I think, and plop them against the blue sky. To me, I think that defeats the purpose. If that's the level of skill that you have right now, that's fine, but I think it would benefit you as an artist to really examine that approach and maybe think about instead what what does why am I choosing that prompt and you know what can I what can I do with it in order to help me grow and help me learn and if it's not something that you want to do then skip it but challenge yourself maybe by using the prompt to help you grow is, is what I think instead of just taking the easy way out and just be like going through the motions and saying oh I'm working through this art challenge and I have to do it no that's not what the challenges are for you should have a purpose I think you should have a purpose for everything you do you know don't just go through the motions of anything otherwise it's just gonna feel defeating and boring and you're gonna want to give up on whatever it is that you're doing. So when when I see the prompt tree or trees or whatever, you know, I want to look for something that's going to inspire me. And I've been really ever since the prompt clouds, I've been really having fun, you know, trying to work on my skies and I've been really enjoying different uh, ways to integrate yellows in my sky or pinks or purples or you know those weird colors that you don't think about um, and just like you know what can I do to elevate my skies when the prompt is you know mushroom or tree in this case so that for me is something that I'm thinking about when I look at the prompts and you know I that's oh, and also with that is color mixing you know so I'm practicing my color mixing um, I'm really pushing this poor really awful sketchbook to its limits <laughs> but sketchbooks are not meant for you know the end-all be-all of your art um, to me you lay down just your ideas they help you get your creative juices going they're like an instant gratification kind of thing you know I used to knit but I just I couldn't get that gratification out of it and so I started to sew <laughs> I was like yeah sewing to me is a lot better because you can finish a lot faster uh, relatively speaking compared to knitting and so I just I sort of prefer it anyhow so that's like, for me, sketchbooks serve multiple purposes. It's that 
like just down and dirty, get something done and feel really accomplished. And you also can go back and be inspired to try and like go big with something or look at look at it as exploring and a, a place to explore. Um, but don't think of it as a place to like try something new and then that's the end of the story because the, the there's no there I don't think there's a whole lot of sketchbooks that are going to allow you to translate what you do in the sketchbook to when you go onto a canvas or onto a large watercolor piece of paper so that's something to keep in mind there are few that are going to be exactly the same so that's what I have to say about prompts. It's just, you know, just because it says, I don't know, teacup, you know, you're going to draw just a teacup, you know, or are you going to go a little bit further and put that teacup in front of a window and then practice doing reflections and shadows and perspective? You know, what, what are you going to do to push yourself further when you practice those prompts? Uh, how are you going to do it to just keep that interest going for yourself? Keep that motivation going um, as an artist for your growth? That's what I would like to think for folks to think of when they participate in this challenge. Also with this challenge, the prompts get harder as they go. I split them up into five, like groups of five, and they have themes. And so these five have been out, we're finally outdoors. And so we had sweets last week, last five, and then these five are like outdoor stuff. Um, now I, I, you know, to me, tree is really hard. I can't really do trees <laughs> that well. But I like how this tree came out. Um, I kind of called an audible right in the middle. And I was using, like, just plain paint gray kind of mixed in where I had some green. And then that made me think, oh, I want to actually drop in some green. So I sort of, like, erased with my... Uh, paintbrush and then started dropping in some green in there because I wanted that to shine through. When it was wet you couldn't really see it but when it dried you could see it and it's really it turned out like a really neat effect. This, these are the things that you do when you push yourself and that's something I want to try you know big you know I, t I keep saying I can't do landscapes but I've been doing nothing but landscapes these last few days and now you know I wouldn't have done it if I hadn't just stepped outside of just a simple one word prompt phrase so I'm really excited about it I hope that um, a lot of people will be excited as well you know check out the list use any list that you want is what I'm saying I go on Pinterest I go to doodle wash there are so many lists out there just google that and you're going to see so many and find inspiration to challenge yourself from it uh sorry i didn't talk about what i did much here <laughs> as usual <laughs> uh yeah so i used a brush and i used the sketchbook that i don't like and I used a very minimal palette, and I just don't, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't talk about painting when I paint, <laughs> when I record it for you. So if you like these types of videos where I paint and, and talk at you, hit the like button, and I'll keep making more like these. I'll see you again soon. Bye.